Chiori is coming in version 4.5 as the game's newest 5-star Geo unit. In this video, I will share my thoughts about her and maybe rekindle some old existing beef that I have with the Hoiverse with regards to an all Geo team comp. So let's jump right in, roll that intro, let's go! Hello and kamusta sa inyong lahat? It's Koi V back again with another video and this time I just want to talk about Chiori. Oh Chiori, what am I gonna do with you? That seems to be the big question. Especially since uh, it was barely three months ago when we got the last Geo unit in the game with Navia. You know, a skill based DPS that takes advantage of the crystallized reaction. Now, we have a new one that appears to be a support damage dealer with the potential to be an off-field sub-DPS. Now, I'm not going to discuss her kit because obviously we don't want to get entangled with the leaks and stuff. But, you know, the info is readily available on the internet. You can, you know, you just need to look it up, search for it. And I'm sure a lot of the people watching have already seen it and while it appears to be impressive uh, it doesn't at least for me it doesn't really solve the that that question and that is is she meant to be part of an all geo team comp while this new character offers plenty of promise I find it difficult to find a place for Chiori in my account because she doesn't appear to offer anything that I feel will compel or incentivize me to build a team around her abilities. Of course, building characters require resources, and in many cases, a need to obtain that character from the gacha. At the moment, her sub DPS ability, based on my understanding, requires geo constructs. This means that characters such as Zhongli, Ningguang, Albedo, Goro, and Ito are great to have in a team that features her, which is a good thing, but is spending resources and primo gems for her really worth it? Considering the fact that, you know, sadly she doesn't have any support abilities other than the coordinated damage she does. Her buffing passive relies on the use of non-default skins and it's a movement speed buff. She doesn't provide buffs to stats such as attack, HP, and defense or any elemental damage buffs to increase the, other, the damage of other members of the party, especially if it's an all-geo party. And it's really simple. What we need in Geo is somebody like a Geo Bennett. That's what me personally am, uh, is, what I am looking for. A Geo Bennett. Uh, somebody who can buff attack uh, and also provide heals. At the same time, provide off field damage. So you could say that what I'm looking for is a mix between Bennett and maybe Shangling, put them together, buffer, uh, healer, not even like a full healer, maybe he could, like Bennett, maybe just provide 75% healing, you know, to complement Guru's uh, constellation-based healing, and then add that, you know, off-field damage dealer on the side there that provides additional elemental or geo damage. Now, for me, from my personal perspective, I feel this puts Chiori at a disadvantage from a sales point of view because I don't see a positioning for her in a lot of teams, especially for those with older accounts. Uh, like I said, we just had Navia, which is an excellent DPS already. Uh, and for those people that 
wants a second team comp, maybe they could go with Arataki Ito if they already have him. And aside from Guru, maybe add another character in his team comp that will increase his attack stats. Because if you guys don't know, Arataki, although he has defense-based buffs from his burst, he still relies on his attack stats. And given the fact that when he does his burst, it's like, what, 12 seconds of him being a hyper carry at that time, there's a chance that he will get a lot of damage. This tells me that Chiori is perhaps another one of those characters that Hoyo didn't give much thought to. A throwaway unit that you know certainly isn't that much essential maybe if you're new you know she's gonna be okay because you're a new account holder but if you're an older player of the game uh maybe she's she's not exactly what you want hoyo could have made her more appealing if she was designed as a healer a stat buffer an uh, and an on on uh, and an off field damage dealer. Sorry about that. I meant an off field damage dealer, or you know, like a five star version of either Goro or Bennett, right? Uh, designed to complement. No one can tell me what to do. And she is designed to complement. You know, Goro, for example, if you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a full all GU team comp, her role is to complement Goro, right? So they could work together as support unit units. This will actually allow us to give our main GU DPS, regardless if it's Arataki Ito or Navia, huge d huge buffs. Right? In addition, this will also solve the problem faced by those who are building an old GU team such as myself. Because right now, we don't have a real GU healer. I'm not gonna use Noel. She's just gonna screw up my rotation. The nearest that we have at the moment, I would say, is really just Goro. Anyways. So, for the last two years, I have been waiting for a true Geo Healer with off-field damage abilities and some support abilities as well. Goro has defense and Geo buffs, which is great, and he can also heal a little bit through his constellation once you've unlocked it. Noel is more of an on-field healer. As for Yunjin, her buffs and support abilities do not favor an all Geo team composition. So what does that leave us? Now we have Navia, which is also a DPS unit. And then now we have the uh, Chiori who is coming up, which is more of a sub DPS type. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is a good time for me to really consider the possibility of turning... Turning Ningguang into a healer, sub DPS, and buffer. As you can see here, that's what I'm actually doing right now. Uh, in, in this video, th these clips, I'm using Ningguang right now as a healer unit who is, you know, has sub DPS abilities because she is uh, using the four piece ocean hued clamp. In addition, her curtain thingy has buffs, damage, uh, elemental damage buffs. So, even though she's really designed as a DPS, because she has some elements there of support, I could actually use her for that specific role that I'm looking for in a geo support unit it's not the best though but you know it would do for now until a real geo full support 
five-star unit comes along. And uh, this is something I always wondered about because despite calls for a worthy five-star geo support slash healer unit, uh, Hoyo has made every effort to avoid making one. Chiori would have been an opportunity for them to actually introduce one, especially right after the, re the release of Navia. However, as usual, we end up again with a character we probably don't necessarily need. But then again, obviously, these views are based on pre-released -re info that is readily available, as well as info sanctioned by Hoyoverse themselves from the 4.5 livestream. So, it is still possible that Chiori sub DPS is very overpowered or her elemental skill doesn't require her to be on field. If this is the case, maybe she is also worth at least considering, worth looking at. Well, in less than a week, we will confirm what her kit is like. However, me. I will most likely skip her as I need to start saving up for Natlan this fall. But if you are one of those who can summon her, I wish you good luck and hopefully she can or she will fit in your account. But for me, a dude who wants to build teams to 9 star the Spiral Abyss, uh, I'm not yet 100% if Chiori is worth getting given how many Primu Gems I can save going to Natlan, and I'm not 100% sure where I can fit her in my old GU team. Anyways, that's what I think right now, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, it was helpful for you guys as well. So, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget the call to actions. Please leave a like, please subscribe, uh, comment your thoughts uh, about my opinion. Enlighten me. Don't attack me. Just enlighten me, guys. Uh, I would really appreciate your any support coming from you guys so that we can grow this channel. I am looking forward to getting this to over 100 subs. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!